you can use the initial setup dialog to have AutoCAD automatically tailor a number of settings to those most often used for the particular type of work that you perform. To display the initial setup dialog, open the Options dialog by either right-clicking and choosing Options from the shortcut menu, or by clicking the big red A in the upper left corner of the screen to display the Application menu, and then clicking the Options button. Once you see the Options dialog, select the User Preferences tab, and then click the Initial Setup button. The Initial Setup dialog has three pages. On the first page, you can select the industry that most closely describes the type of work that you will do using AutoCAD. The selection that you make will determine the most relevant tool palette group when you start using AutoCAD. Of course, like many features in AutoCAD, you can always come back later and change your selection or customize the tool palette or other interface components. After choosing your industry, click the Next button. On the second page of the Initial Setup dialog, you can choose to have AutoCAD create an additional workspace tailored to the type of work you do using AutoCAD. A workspace organizes task-based tools in the user interface, such as the ribbon bar and the tool palette, so that they are readily available when you're using AutoCAD. By default, AutoCAD has four workspaces. The selections on this page of the Initial Setup dialog enable you to create an additional Initial Setup workspace containing the tools that you frequently use. As you move your cursor over these four selections, you will see a preview of the tools that will be included in the custom Initial Setup workspace. You can choose to enable any or all of these tools by selecting the adjacent checkbox. Once in AutoCAD, you can easily switch between workspaces using the workspace switching tools. You can also use tools in AutoCAD to further customize workspaces. After you have chosen the desired workspaces, click Next. On the third page of the Initial Setup dialog, you can choose which template or DWT file you want to use as the default template whenever you create a new drawing in AutoCAD. Template files enable you to start new drawings with many existing settings, such as drawing units and layers, already predetermined. You can use the AutoCAD 2011 default template, an existing template file, or a default template based on the particular industry you chose on the first page of the Initial Setup dialog, as well as the desired unit format, either Imperial, feet and inches, or metric. Once you have made your final selection, click the button labeled Finish, and then click OK to close the Options dialog. AutoCAD will use the tool palette groups, workspaces, and template settings based on the choices you made. Again, remember that you can always customize any of these settings. You can also run the initial setup again from within the Options dialog.